What's going on guys, Ace here, and today I'm be going over two different methods on how to make your own custom light leaks in After Effects. This first method that you're seeing here is uh, BCC light leaks, and then this one here is with turbulent noise. So both of these are pretty simple. Um, it's kind of just personal preference or whether or not you actually have the BCC plugin on which one you use, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do each one. So here's our raw footage. First, I'm gonna go over how to use BCC light leaks since that's a lot quicker and easier. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and control alt y to add an adjustment layer and then I'm going to add light leaks right there and then I'm going to go into my generator one and change the start color to a dark blue Let's go about there and then a little bit lighter blue and like a sky blue there yeah let's do that and let's play this through to see what this looks like so far and as you can see, there's like no movement going on with our texture. So what we need to do is animate it and make it evolve faster. So <clears throat> in order to do that, you go up to stylize and then change the texture mutation rate. I'm gonna put mine on 150 and let's play that. Okay, that's all right. And then if you want to change like the size of your texture and the shape of it, it all your settings are in here in stylize and in generator one. So let's mess with the scale a little bit. If you want to make it like wider, increase your X and it'll be a lot wider when it, when it evolves. And then if you want to make it bigger in general, just change your scale master up, etc. Just kind of play with these settings and get the type of look that you, that you want. In order to make the texture brighter, we're gonna go up to stylize opacity, put that on 100, and then you can turn up the exposure as well if you want to make it even brighter. And then let's play this through to see what we have so far. Okay, so that looks all right. These are just kind of like the basics for you to understand how to use the plugin. Um, the last thing I would do is add a lens blur. So I'm hit Control Alt Y and add a lens blur. I think it makes things look a lot more realistic when the transition happens. So let me keyframe the iris, tap U, just keyframe right in the middle. I'm gonna change this down to 10. This is more my preference, you don't have to do this. And then zero here, and easy ease. Just put it right there. Okay, and let me play this through. To me, it just looks a lot smoother when you add a blur on transitions like that. Um, so next, let's go ahead and go through our turbulent noise method. Um, I'm going to just turn off these adjustment layers and I'm going to add a solid. So hit control Y and it doesn't matter what you name it. I'm just gonna name it noise. And then the color doesn't matter either. So just add the solid in there. And then I'm going to hit control shift C to make a pre-comp, move all attributes into the new composition. And I'm just going to call it Turb Noise for Turbulent Noise. And let's go into that comp. All right, so now let's go ahead and add Turbulent Noise. Turbulent Noise right there. And then um, first thing we're going to do is increase our contrast to about, about 200, around there is good. And then decrease the brightness to about minus 50 around there and then our complexity needs to come down to two and we're going to scale it up with this value right here scale all the way up to let's go to like 2000 okay and the last thing to do is to animate it by alt clicking this value right here which is the evolution and then time times let's do 700 and let's play this to see what it looks like Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is duplicate this layer to create the different colors. Um, I'm going to name this one white, so I'm gonna leave this one white, and I'm gonna hit Control D. And this one I'm gonna name blue, and Control D one more time, and I'm gonna name this one sky blue. Okay, so in order to change these colors, I'm going to add a tint, and then change the white to a, this one's our blue, so let's do like a darker blue there. And then sky blue, add another tint, and change the white to 
you know, light blue right around there. Okay, so, and we need to change our blending modes of our top two noises to add. There it is. Oop. Add. There we go. So, as you can see, we've got three different light leaks, but they're all animating the exact same spot. So, in order to fix that, we need to go to our um, evolution options right here and change the random seed. So, this one, it, the numbers don't actually matter, it's just the seed. So, let's just type in four for this one, and then this one, let's type in five. Sure, it'll make it completely random by changing the numbers. So, let's play this through. Okay, it's not perfect, but um, I think you get the gist of what how to get this done. If the, say you wanted your light leak to be like a, a non-uniform shape, um, let's take this one and go to our transform, and then uncheck uniform scaling, and then you can change it x and y. So if you wanted to be like really wide for whatever reason, you can do that. So yeah, let me control Z that. So I'm just gonna leave it as default with the uniform scaling for now. So let's go back to our example and we're going to change our turbulent noise comp to add. And I'm also going to animate the opacity by pressing T um, because at the end I want to fade it out like that, okay? So it's pretty much the same concept. Um, it takes a little bit more time that way. Let me play this through. Okay, and looking at this already, I feel like our contrast is too low with our colors because they're they're on the scene, but they're not reacting very much. So I'm gonna go back to our turbulent noise. I'm going to change our blue and sky blue. I'm gonna turn up the contrast. So let me get to where you can see that clearly. So this one's the sky blue. It's actually kind of greenish, but it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna turn up the contrast. You can see the colors are getting stronger there. And then same thing with the blue. I'm gonna turn up the contrast on that one. Okay, and let's go back into here. And that just looks all right. I could mess with the scaling and more values more, but that's kind of like your preference and what you're trying to accomplish. So I'm kind of leave that for now. And let me turn on the blur that I made earlier so you can see kind of the final product. But um, that's pretty much all I have for this tutorial. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you really enjoyed, and uh, leave me a comment down below if you have something you want me to cover, and I'll be sure to do that. So um, I'll see you guys next time.